Hey guys, now I'm going to give back to you for another video. Guys, today we're talking about the best budget cornerbacks in Mutt 22. Uh, we have an extensive list today because there's a lot of different players we can look at. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away with Brian Murphy Jr., who is, of course, a 78 overall. He has 83 speed, 84 acceleration, 73 zone coverage with 70 man coverage, 65 catching. An overall really decent cornerback. He also has 68 hit power, which is, of course, higher up for a cornerback. Uh, he gives you all around decent stats. Now, how I kind of wanted to split these up is a couple different things. I wanted to look at speed, hit power, you know, catching ability, and also, of course, coverage ability. Because when you're looking at budget, you're never going to get everything you want and some right you're always going to have to give something to get something so sometimes you might want to have a really good speed guy well if you get a really good speed guy you're going to be taking away his own coverage if you want to have a good coverage guy you're probably going to be taking away speed good block sheds probably going to take away good hit power right so it's a combination of all those things combined uh so let's go ahead and go into the next guy we have jonathan jones at a 79 overall now he does have 86 speed 87 salvation 78 agility 8 74 man 72 zone and 71 press uh he has a lot better block shed than the last guy and worse hit power at 62 but what he's going to give you is the ability to actually cover around the field cover pretty much most of the field and he does have the speed right now that's going to be pretty much able to catch up with anybody on the field right now now it will be one or two people you know who have those jamar chases who just absolutely breeze by you and do zero chance you have to cover them but let's be honest there's no coin back in the game right now it's going to cover 90 what 92 speed jamar chase it just simply is not going to happen so with that in mind though jonathan jones should give you the ability to for the most part keep up with guys and actually have some pretty good chances stopping them 74 man coverage too is not bad at all Next guy we have here is Adoy Jackson coming in at 79 overall. He is 86 speed with 71 man. 69 man. 71 zone, 70 press, 65 catching, 48 block shed. Um 85 jumping he's all around a solid cornerback again like i said he's keeping in that you know 3500 dollars 3500 coins or less kind of range which i do like for these budget videos we'll be looking at some cheaper options in this video but these are kind of i think a range a lot of people can go ahead and get behind is like 3500 coins 3500 coins and less that's usually what you can get behind when it comes to a budget type player i think more than that thing it's gonna be way too expensive Jamel uh, Dean right here is going to come in around 2,300 coins. He has 86 speed, 84 acceleration, 72 man, 71 zone, 72 press, 81 jumping. Uh, overall wise, he's going to give you just good coverage ability. He's going to give you some good speed and also some good coverage. And that's, again, what you need in cornerbacks. Honestly, with how early on we are in Mutt, I'd say just get good speed on your cornerbacks. Don't worry about anything else. Don't really worry about anything else. Just get some good cornerbacks and some good speed. Uh, coverage ability is important, but just get plus 70 zone, and you're going to be pretty much in a clear. Uh, a lot of receivers now in Mutt just don't have really good route running, in all honesty, so you're not really going to worry too much about that. Uh, as time goes on, you will, but at the moment in time, I'd say I really just focus, if I were you guys, just focus on speed and, and just get as much zone as you can with your speed. Um, next guy we have here is going to be Patrick Peterson. He's going to have, of course, better man in the zone. He has 84 speed. He has um, 70 man, 69 zone, 71 press, 72 catching, which is really freaking good. I also have 66 hit power and 87 jumping. So all around, just a really good physical cornerback. Oh, it's like athletic cornerback to even uh, to be able to cover most wide receivers in the game. Sean, Muff, um, Sean Murphy Bunting comes in at 60, uh, 78 overall right here with 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 82 agility, 70 man, 67 zone, 70 press, 86 jumping. He also is going to go ahead and give you some pretty decent stats when it comes to his catching 67. Other than that, though, not really the greatest. But like I said before, you know, you're not really going for the top end. So now we have some other cornerbacks. Here is a more on the cheaper end running uh, cornerback. He is actually, oh, wow, he's actually 2,600 coins, surprisingly enough. My head might be incorrect on the pricing. But here is a silver cornerback, and this guy is all speed. So if you are going against somebody, it might be a smart idea to have this guy as your, like, your fifth cornerback. And honestly, if you're going against somebody who has like Jamar Chase or something, 
put this guy in as your fifth cornerback. And then if you are going against Jamar Chase, go ahead and put this guy in as a speed matchup with Jamar Chase. Because this is probably the best you're going to get when it comes to speed matchup. Unless you spend a crap ton of coins, this is the best you're going to get to actually be able to cover Jamar Chase or cover uh, like Tyree Kill or something like that. So... And the other guy doesn't have any, any coverage ability. He at least has the speed to keep up with these guys and be able to slow him down in somewhat capable ability. So definitely recommend going and picking up this guy. Next two guys we have here, Cable Farley coming in at 75 overall. He's going to go ahead and give you 87 speed with 62 man, 61 zone, and 65 press. He also has 63 catching, which is not the worst, but definitely not the greatest. Uh, overall, he's going to give you really good man-to-man -man coverage, and that is what this man is uh, for. The last guy we have here is going to be... Actually, I just already looked at this guy. Uh, nonetheless, guys, if you did enjoy this video, though, hit that like, subscribe, down below. Tell me your thoughts and opinions. Tell me who your favorite budget player is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.